Hey, brother. Hey, brothers, this way. This way, guys. This way. Come on. That was the easiest move. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. We're pros. We're pros now. <laughs> oh, they didn't like that. <laughs> Alright, the pigs really dug themselves a hole right here where they are sleeping. And now we gotta rake up all their poop. They started terracing up a little bit, but we probably didn't leave them here long enough. And honestly, guys, it's starting to stink. Our house is right here. <laughs> Not that we didn't think that would happen, but they were only here for about a week. This area is not nearly as muddy and as tore down than that area was because it wasn't really raining this week. It was actually really dry. Learning's moving. These are our egg layers. So even keeping that, the, our baby egg layers in here while I finish the chicken coop. Started a new compost bin. We're gonna have a lot of compost coming up. Hey brothers. Chickens are getting big, Penelope. Yeah. Look at that, our hose broke. Now we're gonna have to bucket water. Sometimes these chickens do not wanna move. They're just in the way and, and it's hard to move these guys uh, when they don't wanna move. These guys are nine weeks old now. Usually you butcher these guys at eight, but we felt like they needed a couple more weeks, maybe one or two weeks. A pile of scrap wood. You gotta be thankful for a pile of scrap wood. I've been working on this chicken coop all week now that we had a break in the rain. I'm still doing a proper video on that. Chicken coop, Bernice's chicken coop. Not done with it yet. We got two nice little onions. They're not quite ready, but we wanted to pick them early. Penelope wanted to pick them early. What are you eating, Penelope? Peas. We just picked a few. Every year we always pick them all at once. 
but this is our first year that we're just kind of picking as we need them. And I kind of like that a lot better. All right, guys. Whoa, whoa. These guys are six months old now. We have about a month left on these guys before we put them in our freezer. I guess they're tired of onions. <laughs> it's a pile of onions right there. But they've been digging up roots right here. They're chewing on these roots. We got a lot of roots in this area. I mean, guys, <laughs> they're also digging up some trash. Look at that. So we're doing 12 pounds of feed. They're six months old each. So that's six pounds of feed each. And I've just been weighing out their feed just to be a little bit more mindful of how much we're giving them. Because um, we're not giving them free choice feed. And this is already almost gone. That's about it's a bag. Maybe a bag and a half left. And we still have that pile of feed in the just sitting on a pallet in there. We have some zucchini growing on this row. So Lorraine's going to feed the pigs for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be gone for a couple days. I'm headed to Polyface Farm. going to be filming for the Mother Earth News Fair. Um, and so we, you know, we still have farm animals. We still have pigs, garden. So Lorraine and Penelope are going to be in charge of it all. Um, but Lorraine has never fed the pigs. So yeah, let's try it. I'm kind of nervous about it. <laughs> Why? Because they're so big <laughs> and they're so strong. Okay, so what's the first thing you do? So you give them a clean bowl. Okay. And then we'll line up all the feed here. This is empty. And then I would put the bowl, their feed bowl, in there first. You know, turn off the fence, put the feed bowl in there, and then hop in there and then dump their feed in there. Okay, so turn off the fence. What are you pulling out? Oh gosh. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right. All right, don't charge me. You have to just have to like, wood might be easier if you don't go inside maybe. Okay. Just put it like right here. You're touching the fence. That's fine. And then, um, just lean over and dump it. Like that might be too far for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> dumped it out. Oh, they're wearing it. Can I pour more in there? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. You have to just like go in there. Yeah. Doesn't want to come out. Or if you have to, just dump it on the floor, just like get it on the ground. Okay. There we go. Like inhaled some of it. <laughs> oh. So then get their old bucket out. Yeah. But they didn't finish their food from last night. Oh, it's still there. Just leave it and them to finish it. Go finish it at some point. Okay? Yeah. Because initially, I think you felt more comfortable if they were inside the pig shelter. Yeah, like locked up in a secure thing. I don't know. I mean, I think this fencing is working. Yeah, it's working. We need to, they grounded it out over there, so we do need to fix that. I don't know. Maybe we should leave them in here. It's up to you, like, if you feel comfortable enough. <laughs> I mean, they don't have signs of that they're going to get out ever. Yeah, they seem to respect the fence. As long as it's on, and we need to fix it so they remember to respect the fence. And I thought it was easier. You know? Yeah. I thought it was easier to just lean over this fence. And I think that might be 
too hard for me to do inside there. Oh. <laughs>